So here I'm doing an ultrasound PIV, and as you can see in the red bubble, there is the non-compressible circular object, which is the artery, and then the easily compressible vein in the blue turquoise circle, and then the yellow arrow is actually pointing at the nerve bundle, which is a circular-ish object with a honeycomb-like appearance that is non-compressible, shiftable but not compressible. I didn't like how that nerve bundle was right on top of that vein, so I decided to look in the other arm. All right, there we go. That's where I want to tap. I'm gonna go through there. Okay, here we go. Are you ready for a quick big stick? All right, gonna put a needle, okay? But I need you to not move, all right? Here we go, three, two, one, stick. Let's see where we're at, there we go. All right, so from here, it's hard to tell where my needle tip is, right? Because notice I'm changing my my hand positioning and how I'm holding the needle to accommodate for this location. So I'm looking for shifting in the tissue. So I see shifting there. I don't see shifting here. So it must be within this millimeter worth of space. Okay. Or there you go. Notice how I fanned. I can see the structures better this way, but I can see the needle tip better this way. All right. So you want to change the angle, rock the baby, change the angle of, and thank you for any, for everybody who brought that up, rock the baby. Okay. So change the angle of your probe to get a better image of where the needle is. Right, right there. Okay. So now I'm right about there. Look how much more angle my my probe is. Okay, so now we're gonna enter here. Right there. I'm gonna zero out, so basically center up the needle. And then I'm gonna advance so that it stays center. Like that. Again, advance the probe, advance the needle, advance the probe, advance the needle, advance the probe almost punctured to the artery there. So I'm trying to be careful not to. And some of y'all are saying, how do I keep my hand left hand probe steady? Look at my points of contact, the back of my fingers, my forearm, my hip. There we go. So I'm going to increase. So you want multiple points of contact so that your hand, your probe hand doesn't slip unnecessarily or a slip when you don't want it to. So now there's my needle tip. I'm gonna advance the probe, advance the needle, 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 advance the probe. There it is. Here's my needle tip. Trying to find my needle tip again. There it is. Okay, again, I'm doing up, down. Up, down, left, right. Trying to see where I'm at. It's almost like using a joystick. If y'all ever play video games, you see that snag? It's a little bit of a snag there. Okay, good, it's opening up, great. So now I'm gonna to attempt to advance the catheter. Nice and smooth, consistently smooth. No changes, no variation. Okay, now, I should have gotten more blood return in that, but I didn't. So I'm kind of concerned that we didn't puncture or we punctured through somewhere. That's supposed to. So I'm not getting good blood return. There it is. So 
Thank you. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Good blood return, good flush. So, let's see what happened there. See where that catheter is lying. So there's my catheter there. And let's see what's happening here. All the way to the end. There's catheter. There it is. There it is at the tip. And this is where the benefit of gel would will be granted. Okay, now I'm gonna try to advance. I have a feeling it's going through the tissue here. Please tell me it's not. See that deviation there? That's my flush. That's where the tip of my catheter is. Seems to be getting stuck there. Stuck there. Stuck there. Stuck there. Stuck there. So I'm going to pull back right here. This seems to be where it's resting well. I get nice, good flush, nice, good return. So I'm not going to mess with that. I don't see any edema of tissue. I felt a little bit of a snag, and I was concerned for a second that I punctured through, but when I see the catheter, it looks like it's in okay. I'm getting good flush, I'm getting good blood return. So around there, see that hump, how, how it angles up? A lot more than the catheter is, it, is angled. And about a half cent. So I'm about 1.5 centimeters in. Got good flush. There it is. So it's in a good place. We're gonna keep it there. I know it's out way more than I'd like, and this does have a higher risk of pulling out, infiltrating. But luckily he only needs one liter of fluid, which is gonna finish before any of that movement is gonna affect him. We're gonna keep it there, and rather than sticking him because it's already working, we're gonna hope for the best. Now, what I probably should have done or thinking back of what I would like to do better next time or have done better next time is more threading. I should have threaded more the needle in and I shouldn't have been so confident, but you know, hindsight's 2020. This is another good reason why you want to thread the entire needle during the insertion process so you don't come across this kind of problem. Thank you so much. And because it's such a weird placement, after I finish dressing it, I'm gonna do one more check. Look at that. Good, no resistance, no sound of infiltration. 